Good morning everybody, it's Red Lace and we are back for another day of Stardew Valley and Han Solo has trapped me in my bedroom. <laughs> so uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thank you Han for finally moving out of the way. So today is spring year for the 27th and today is Emily's birthday and we are gearing up for summer. Hey Chronic, hey Almeida, how's it going today? So we need a gift for Emily today, and uh, so we will need to do that. I believe she loves wool and cloth, which I think I have some of that lying around here somewhere, so that might make a good gift for her. What I got going? I really need to change my wallpaper in the kitchen, it's really starting to bother me. It's not very pleasant to look at. <laughs> oh, wow, there's stuff blowing up everywhere. Hey Alex! Hey, when I stand here and look out over your land, I'm really proud. You've done great work. Well, thanks, honey. Hey, hero. Welcome back. <laughs> I guess so, Almeida. Han Solo just doesn't want to leave me. <laughs> it's blocking the door and everything. Have a complete breakfast, honey. Hey, awesome. I love this stuff. I know. I know you do. All right. So I think today I might spend some time making some seeds in preparation for summer. So that's part of the plan. Hey Jack, I'm doing well, thank you. How are you today? Red Lace, I'm really glad you've become part of our community. I've enclosed a 500 gold check from the Stardew Valley Agricultural Fund to help you continue your good work. Maybe you can buy some more seeds with it. Sincerely, Mr. Lewis. 500 gold, thank you Lewis. So I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, I released a video on YouTube last night explaining everything. But uh, update 1.07 came out yesterday afternoon, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, adds a few new features to the game, uh, some things to do with fruit trees, which I'm pretty happy about since some of you know my fruit trees seem to draw lightning to them. Well now there's actually something good that will happen. but. I don't know what that is, so <laughs> we'll have to wait and find out, but um, I'm pretty excited about that. A lot of changes, lots of new stuff I saw. What is that oak resin doing in here? Not sure how that ended up in there. Emily loves survival burger, emerald, aquamarine, ruby, amethyst, topaz, jade, cloth, wool, rabbit's foot, and prismatic shard. Thank you, Almeida. I'm doing well, hero. Thank you. Okay, let's grab my shears and my pail, and I think we're just going to give Emily that cloth right there, so we will take that to her today. And uh, I guess Wilma's not ready to be sheared, so I guess I don't need my scissors, but uh, we will milk the cow. So yesterday I added into the indie guide that'll come out on Monday, oh we're almost at five hearts for Betsy, uh, that'll come out on Monday, all the animal stuff, so all the barn upgrades, all the animals, that'll be included in the next version of the guide, and it is... That. The guide is almost double the size now of the original guide I released, so I'm really excited for you guys to see it. Hey Emily, how's it going? Welcome. Um, I updated the title Almeida. I think you were in here before I updated it, so you'd have to refresh to see the new title, but today is Preparing for Summer Year 4. Yeah, here we're glad to have you back. Haven't seen you in a little while, so I'm glad you were able to make it today. Let's turn the milk into cheese, get a better profit off of that. Take this wool and make it into cloth. Okay, so let's head on over to Emily's. I will grab Mario. You have to go because you have to sleep now here. Well, I'm glad you stopped to say hello. Have a good night. Enjoy your rest. It's like my grass is starting to grow that I planted and wasted a bunch of money on. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I really want to get a white cow. I haven't got one yet. I should buy another cow. Maybe I'll do that on the way back from Emily's. Go see if we can't get ourselves a white cow. Hey look, Sam's hanging out by a daffodil. Don't mind if I do. Here Sam, have a blueberry. I sure did get this for you. 
You're excited to download my guide, Hero? Awesome. I'm excited for you to download my guide. You can get a copy of it right now, the early edition alpha, but the next edition is coming out on Monday, and it is double the size, so it's close to 80 pages, I believe. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> I just remembered I'm supposed to call my grandma. Okay, I'm going to put this rubber band on my wrist so I don't forget. I have to make little reminders for myself or else I'll totally forget to do things. So one of the things in update 1.7, 1.07 is some new dialogue as well. So uh, we might get some new dialogue from people today. That was definitely a new one. They also added some things with the hearts and the heart rating in that now it shows grayed out hearts. So you can't get single villagers up to 10 hearts after marriage. If you want all to 10, you have to do it before marriage. So it'll now show grayed out hearts indicating that I've already maxed out my friendship levels with those people. And you can't decay hearts now once they're maxed out, so I won't lose hearts with any of these people because they are completely maxed, or any of the people that are 10 hearts, so that's a really awesome new feature. Alright, see you, Hero! Have a great night! Alright, Emily. Birthday girl, here you go. I brought you a cloth. Happy birthday! It's a bolsa blue cloth. There's pieces cut out of it and little embroidered patterns along the fringe. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. I can't talk to her here. Okay. Happy birthday anyway! <laughs> At least she got the gift. Hey Haley, I'd give you a blueberry but you'd hate it. <laughs> I can talk to you though. Nope, she doesn't even want to talk to me. She's like, eh, get out of the way. <laughs> you know, I should be doing something productive right now. I just lose focus too fast. Maybe I should drink more coffee. Maybe. Hey Penny, have a blueberry. Mom's been complaining ever since Joja Mart closed down. I think it's good for her, though. Maybe she'll drink less Joja Cola now. Yeah, less Joja Cola and more beer, I'm sure. <laughs> hey, Yasin, welcome back. How is Tuesday treating you? Okay, let's go see if we can't get a white cow. I really want a white cow. <laughs> I haven't bought a second cow yet. I've been just rolling with Betsy this whole time, so maybe it's time to buy one at least. I'm tempted to sell my sheep, um, because the only thing they're good for is wool, and my rabbits drop wool, and I, rabbits are worth more money than sheep are anyway, and I don't have to shear the rabbits. So it seems like, efficiency-wise, the rabbit, mainly, is a lot better. My cat says hello. <laughs> so I'm almost tempted to sell my sheep that I have. All right, dairy cow. What should we name our new cow, guys? Anybody have an idea? I'm tempted to name her. We should see what some of the random ones are. These are always fun. Bumbo, Shong, Furtu, Renibo, Kanana, Bru, Serta, Limu, Frasper, Sherta, Mekos. Phasers. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> that could go on for days, right? Um, why can't I change the name? It won't let me type. Hello? Hello? I can't change it. Oh no! I guess I can change it later, huh? Well, I guess she'll be Momo. Missy Milk, I like that name. Good call, Almeida. Well, since I can't type for some reason, maybe a part of 1.07 messed this up. I don't know if anyone else has had this problem, but um, I guess I'll just rename it later. So, Momo it is for now. Let's hope it's white. Great, I'll send little Momo to her new home right away. Well, thanks, Marnie. You know what? Maybe you should have a blueberry. Just maybe. Have you been to that strange tower west of my house? Sure have, and I know you do not like it. Okay. Click on cancel. Oh, I should have done that. Well, I'm going to go over there and check on the cow anyway, so I'll just rename it when I go click on it. Interact. We'll rename it. Okay. Where are you, cow? I did get a white cow! Yay! Yay! I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, let's rename her. I still can't rename her. 
All right, well, maybe tomorrow we can rename her. <laughs> Momo is white. I'm so excited. Yeah. I like when they're different colors because I can actually distinguish between them. Like, I never know if this pig's Ramsey or if it's Porky and vice versa. And I like that I always know which cow's which, so... That's cool. I'm excited. Now I have a white cow as well. Yay. Yay. All right. So today I was going to try streaming a different game. I was going to stream Secrets of Grindia, the, the demo, and um, that game did not want me to play it, I decided. <laughs> I uh, was able to play the game just fine, but it was not having the streaming. It was being really strange, and my OBS got crashed a few times from it, and I actually looked online and I guess some other people that were trying to stream Secrets of Grindia had crashes as well. So I don't know what was up with that, but didn't happen today, so maybe I'll figure it out and we'll try it again another day. Alright, let's sell the truffles and the daffodil and the truffle oil. Why is this bait not on my rod? <laughs> Nobody knows. Hey, one time seeker, how's it going? You only have two white cows, Omeda? Yeah, you need a brown one then. You need a brown one. Yeah, I've always just had Betsy as brown, and I never thought about it that I didn't have both colors. So yesterday I was thinking, when I was working on the guide, that, wow, I need another color cow. So <laughs> I decided today seemed like a perfect opportunity to give it a try. <laughs> Alright, I know I went up there for a reason, and I just lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, I needed tappers. Okay. Copper is what I was after. Mo Coppa. Should probably smelt some copper actually. I am running low. Get some copper going. Get some copper going. Okay. I'm doing well, thank you, one time seeker. Thank you for asking. Where's the evil account, Matt? Uh, not today. Today I am playing on my regular happy red lace character. <laughs> so no evil going on today. Hey Taser, how's it going? Hi Mistress Daisy. How's your guys' day treating ya? On this lovely cloudy Tuesday. At least cloudy for me. I don't know about everybody else. But it's pretty darn gray out. <laughs> pretty gray. Alright. Looks like I got two trees that need tappers. That's exciting. Can expand. I shall expand. Okay, I need flooring. You're recording too, Taser? Awesome. Okay, so we can move over that far. I don't want to hinder the growth of that tree, but I am planning on expanding my whole tree tapper farm over, so we're just gonna slowly, incrementally <laughs> Uh, build upon this, so I don't want one there because that's going to be where my fence goes. But we can go down, and we'll just be waiting for those middle trees to do their thing. <laughs> and I guess that one on the outside. It's cold there, Mistress Daisy. Yeah, I'm actually okay with it being cold. I, uh, just talked to my dad a little while ago on the phone, and uh, he's in my hometown state, and uh, he said the the weather wasn't great where he is either, but it's supposed to be really nice in the next couple days, so I'm hoping maybe it'll be really nice here also in the next couple days, because uh, I'm just north of him, so maybe, maybe it'll be nice. He said it's supposed to get up to like 80, and I was thinking, wow, I'm, my inventory's full. I was thinking 80 degrees, that sounds pretty nice. Slowly but surely is right, Almeida. We will be patient. <laughs> Alright, Taser, that sounds cool. We will see you later. Alright, I'm going to drop this back off, and I'll just put these tappers in here for now, because I'll be back for them. Oh, and I guess my battery packs, I don't need to carry those around. And that comes from the tree stuff. Guess we don't need the flooring. We'll stick that in there as well. Welcome back, Yasin. Okay. Lots of tulips. 
Lots and lots of tulips. Cheese. Um, I might actually make tulip seeds out of those. I was trying to save up for more barrels of flowers because, you know, I really need more of those. Looks like I actually have 30, so we'll just sell them all. I have lots of flower seeds. Selling, selling, selling. Okay. Let's go stick this stuff inside. I'm sick of carrying it around. So, cheese. Oak and pine. There we go. Okay. Let's go finish harvesting. And uh, we need to start making some seeds for summertime. Well, my ancient fruit wine is looking like it's ready. So I got plenty of plots to grow stuff. I just need the seeds to do it. <laughs> no, I don't want to eat the tulip. I'm not interested in chowing on flowers. <laughs> Okay. I really like the tulips. They're super pretty. If I had my way, I would just plant tulips everywhere and not harvest them at all. <laughs> They're too pretty to harvest. <laughs> but it's that time. One more day of spring and then we will be into summer, so... Time to harvest all the prettiness. Okay. Cauliflower. More tulips. I need to also put my sprinklers on wood platforms. I found out if you put your sprinklers on a walk path, you can't knock your sprinklers out when you use your hoe to till the soil. And that sounds pretty darn wonderful. So I was going to put wood floor under all my sprinklers and maybe I'll do that here before summer because that sounds like a good thing to get prepped for summer to uh, make tilling the soil much more efficient. We could do it much more quickly that way. So I think we'll do that today as well in preparation. All right, let's make a bunch more wine. I really wish the tulips stacked. They just take up so much room. So much room. Okay. Can you stack speed grow and fertilizer on one square? Uh, no, you can't, Matt. You can only use one type of fertilizer on a square, so you have to make a choice. You can't use it all, unfortunately, but that would be awesome if you could. But no. Oh no, I'm locked in. <laughs> hey, Cheeto. Okay. Do, 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 do. Selling all my tulips and potatoes. I don't even know where that potato came from. <laughs> I don't remember having a potato, but all right. That works. That's fine. <laughs> Free potatoes. Welcome back, Chronic. Okay, so let's grab all our wood paths here. And uh, we're going to put them under all our sprinklers. So, here we go. Wood path, sprinkler, and let's test this out. So if we use the hoe now, and we're going to hoe this whole area, and it doesn't take your sprinkler out, so that is awesome. So we're definitely going to do this in anticipation for summer so we can make quick work out of tilling the soil when we need to plant all our seeds here in just a couple days. So this will be wonderbar. <laughs> okay. Sprinkler, sprinklers. Do 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 do. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. I've been meaning to do it for a really long time, and I just keep forgetting about it. And uh, I thought today summer's close. Perfect time, right? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. It's going to take a little work, but it's worth it, I think. It's definitely, definitely worth it. 
Imagine if I would have done this years ago in the game. Would have been such a time saver. Okay, what do we got over here? I hope these strawberries bloom tomorrow. Last day to get them. Hopefully I will. Could use one more day of strawberries. I'd be alright with that. Alright, so that's all the crops on this side. Yeah, chat is really quiet today, Almeida. I think uh, everybody's having a case of the Serious Tuesdays. <laughs> it's mellow. Indeed. they would bake sprinklers so you could put like on an angle so if I had one in the corner it would water you know like a 90 degree angle you could have a uh, all crops in the middle instead of having to have the sprinkler take up the middle spot it'd be good especially for giant crops it'd probably help oh you just figured this out last night chronic about the sprinklers yeah I've, I've known about it for a long time and I just keep forgetting about it like it just keeps you know, passing my mind. I just haven't done it, but I'm doing it today. It's it's getting done. It's It needs to happen. <laughs> no more mucking about. These sprinklers are not going to get knocked out every two seconds anymore. <laughs> You're trying to change your farm around, Daisy? Are you moving farm buildings too, or just crops around, or what are you working on? Chronic stuffing his face with barbecue, making us all hungry, as usual. What kind of barbecue, barbecue are you having, Chronic? And PC Gamer, the developer, Concerned Ape said he might be making buildings movable. Yes, Matt, that would be awesome. Is that a recent review you just said last night, or when the update came out, or is that something else? That'd be wonderful if he did. I'm sure a lot of people would appreciate that, because I know just about everybody has had a moment where they're like, man, I really wish I would have put that building somewhere else. I've actually heard, too, some people ended up putting uh, their buildings like near the water on their farm, so they put like their barn right in front of the water, and because of that, they can't get into the barn, and so they've had to demolish it and then move it or rebuild it which would just be a huge bummer. You're planting crops and making new pathways, Daisy? Oh no, I fell asleep! Oh no! <laughs> I wasn't looking. <laughs> I was working on my sprinklers. <laughs> oh boy. 44,198 gold. Not bad for a day's work, despite falling asleep. They can take my thousand gold. I don't need it. <laughs> Oh jeez. Okay, it's the last day of spring here on Sunday, so we're gonna hit up the traveling merchant today. Hey Han. Hey Cheeto. Let's check the weather. Clear and sunny all day. It sounds like it's raining today. Spirits are very happy, that's good. Queen of Sauce, lucky lunch. An old legend has it that this meal is irresistible to spirits of luck and fortune. After consuming it, you're likely to attract a good spirit into your belly, where it will bless you with good fortune until the meal is digested. Sounds weird, huh? Can't say I believe it, but the meal is delicious nonetheless. Alright. He said it in an interview two or three weeks ago, Matt. Awesome. Well, that would be cool if he made a movable. I would love that. It's definitely not part of update 1.07, I can tell you that much. <laughs> that just came out last night. He said there's still a secret or two people haven't found. Interesting. Well, I want to know what the secrets are. I wonder what they are. I just woke up and I'm hungry for some protein. Will you get some, honey? You're having a sandwich called the Big Muddy Brisket, Smoked Sausage, Horseradish Sauce, Barbecue Sauce, Side of Green Beans, and Coleslaw. And no, you didn't make it. It's from a local barbecue place. That sounds really good. <laughs> The big muddy brisket. Cheeto, you're blocking the door. I'm going to finish these sprinklers real quick before I forget about them again. Then we'll go check the mailbox. 
You're playing some scrap mechanic, creating fences around your house. Cool, Almeida. I don't think I've played that game. Oh, well, I guess my strawberries are not gonna bloom in time. Too bad. So sad. Yeah, I could really go for some um, baby back ribs now that you mentioned Barbecue Chronic. Oops. Baby back ribs sound delicious. I haven't had barbecue in a really long time. Really, really long time. Ooh, lightning again. There's been a lot of lightning this spring. Okay, looks like I might have just enough wood to finish out the sprinklers here. Okay, no longer will our sprinklers be uprooted by the hoe. No more. Okay, do I have any seeds going on? I have some things, I think, for summer. Corn, we could get that in the seed maker. Tomatoes. Hot peppers. Are those summer or... I don't remember. I was going to make those into seeds. I was going to make the cauliflower into seeds. Might as well just make them all into seeds while I'm here. Won't take me that long anyway. So let's throw all these in. Corn's a really good crop because it sticks around for summer and fall. So I like to plant those really early in summer and they make a huge profit if you keep on them harvesting, so. Hey Neeks, what's going on? Welcome. Barbecue, New York style pizza, Chinese, Japanese, and Filipino are your weakness, Chronic. Yeah, that sounds like a big list. <laughs> I'm a sucker for sushi and Chinese barbecue. I like a lot of food. I eat a wide variety of it. I think the only food I'm really not very into is Indian. I just haven't really got into Indian food. But everything else... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got some... Yeah, pepper is summer, so we do need pepper seeds. Okay, I couldn't remember for some reason. How long does it take for the quarry to refill, Daisy? You can go check the quarry every day if you'd like. Um, it'll have new ore and items there every day, but you don't always get um, the good stuff every day, but it's just a chance, so I'd go check it every day. Hey Luke, what's going on? Okay. So I need to go in the house and grab a bunch of seeds so I can start making these. What what do I need to make seed makers? Maybe I should make just a boatload of these. Ten coal. Ugh, oh, ouch. One gold bar. Although, part of update 1.07 is that now you can make um, coal for ten less. So it's half the cost it used to be to make the coal machines. So maybe it's worth it to make a couple more. Only 10 coal now instead of 20, or 10 wood instead of 20 to make coal. Okay, um, so how much coal do I have? I don't, I don't even have 10, I have 9 pieces. <laughs> you cook some mean Indian dishes, Chronic, but you do like Indian. That's true, Chronic, yeah, I'm not very familiar with Indian food, so I haven't really eaten very much of it. Probably one of the few cuisines that there's just not a lot of where I grew up and uh, where I am now there's a lot more Indian food. So, Dear Miss Red Lace, last night a Joja team member found you incapacitated. A medical team is dispatched to bring you home safely. We're glad you're okay. You've been billed a thousand gold for this service. Well, thank you. I'm glad I fell asleep out on the front lawn, per the usual. <laughs> My expertise in falling asleep. Okay. Well, now I can make one more seed maker. That's something. <laughs> That's something. If I wanted to use all my coal, I think we're just going to need to make some coal. 
What do I need to make the charcoal kiln? 20 wood and a gold bar. Hmm. Yeah. We'll just wait. Okay. Flowers. Flowers everywhere. Alright, let's go in the house and grab some summer crops so we can turn them into seeds. You like fish, but I've tried... I've not tried many types, just scampi and cod. Oh yeah, those are good, Luke. Yeah, I really like fish. I eat a lot of it. I eat a lot of fish. I really like salmon. I really like tilapia. I eat a lot of crab. I eat a lot of shrimp. I really like mussels and uh, oysters and clams. I like it all. <laughs> I like it all. And I want it now. Not much of a shrimp scampi kind of guy, Chronic. Yeah, scampi's not my favorite. I really like shrimp, though, but I'm not big on scampi myself. You used to work at Captain D's, Daisy? Sick of fish really fast. What's Captain D's? Is that a seafood restaurant, I take it? I haven't heard of that. We don't have that here. You wake up early because you need to be awake before your sisters, Luke. Need to beat him into the, the bathroom, probably. <laughs> is radish a summer or is that a winter? Does anybody remember? Or a fall, I mean. I can't remember. I need summer crops and I'm drawing a blank. I think cabbage is summer. Might be. Salmon? Salmon's good, Almeida. Yeah, I'd say salmon it up. Hey Becca, you brought cookies? What kind of cookies did you bring? <laughs> Captain D's is similar to a Long John Silver's. Long John Silver's, that's... I can't know if... I don't know if we had those either. <laughs> um, I'm drawing a blank. We're gonna make a ton of tomato seeds. That's summer for sure. Oh, actually, yeah, I do remember. We did have Long John Silvers at some point, but we don't have them anymore. But, yeah, I remember Long John Silvers. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty much a fish seafood place. It's fast food. Gotcha. Chocolate wafer things. Sound good, Becca. Alright, we're definitely going to make some melons. Melon seeds, please. Um, what else do we want to make? Uh, eggplant. Is eggplant summer? I don't remember. Ooh, red lobster. That's always tasty. Yeah, it's probably just your, your netbook, Luke. Because, uh... Drop frames are only at one percent, so <laughs> it's pretty minimal. You like most food, Neeks? Yeah, food's good. Now I'm getting hungry for lunch. <laughs> so you're saving up for your upgraded house, Yasin? Awesome. Getting ready for those kids that you wanted to have. Good, good. Okay, we definitely have lots of corn, so we can make seeds out of these for sure. Bok choy. I don't remember if that's summer or not. Okay, let's. We got enough to get going here, so let's go and get some seeds started. Go for a super crop, plant lots of melons. I will, Matt. I definitely want to get a giant crop. It's on my agenda. We will do that. We will do it. Okay, so we need cabbage, tomato. Melons, corn. Alright, let's do the cabbage first because I only have six cabbage, so that'll go fast. Better harvest those green beans, I guess, too. You got married to Alex yesterday, Becca? Nice. So you have his hideous green carpet as well. Congratulations. <laughs> you got married right after the stream ended? Awesome. Yep, I like Alex. Hate his carpet. <laughs> Hate his carpet. It is hideous. 
Welcome back, Almeida. Green beans, green beans, do 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 Yeah, the carpet's pretty terrible. I was pretty bummed out when I saw him move in and I was like, really? You brought this with you? <laughs> if I would have known, you would not be my husband. <laughs> All right, Luke, sorry it's not working out. I will see you later. Thanks for saying hello. Alex changes the wallpapers to sports in his room. He hasn't changed any wallpaper for me. He's left it the same. It's that hideous, ugly football stuff. But I wouldn't mind if he changed it, because I don't like what he currently has, that's for sure. Red cabbage is summer. Goody, goody. Okay. Where do you buy more clothes? Um, do you mean you want to change your appearance, Becca? Is that what you're talking about? Because you can change your appearance at the Shrine of Illusions, which is in the Wizard's Tower basement. So you need to have at least four hearts, I believe, with the wizard. And then you can go up to the back of his house, and there's a little door on the floor. And you can get into his basement, and there's the Shrine of Illusions in there where you can change your look where you can change your shirt to different things, or your hair, or your whatever you want. If that's what you're talking about? I'm not sure. Oh, he changed your wallpaper to the football one. Yeah, yeah, seeing he does, yeah. I thought you meant he changed it after you got married, because I know, like, Leia will change your wallpaper occasionally. She gets bored and changes her wallpapers around. So I was thinking, I haven't seen Alex do that, but if he does, that's interesting. You want new boots and more hats? Oh, okay. Becca, yeah. Hats you get down at the mouse, which is down in the southwest end of Cindersat Forest. Oops, I didn't mean to eat that tomato. So you'll just want to go down to the southwest end of Cindersat Forest where there is the house that's abandoned. Where the cat will live there, or the mouse will live there, and he'll sell new hats. And the hats you get based on the achievements you earn. So every time you earn an achievement, you can go down there and he'll have a new hat for sale. Um, and boots you can buy up at the uh, Adventurer's Guild from Marlin. He sells new boots. Making seeds! Do, do, do. Alright, we got lots of tomatoes. Lots of tomatoes. We're gonna save some money and not have to buy seeds, so this will be good. Melons, melons, do 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 do. <laughs> he only has four hats right now. Yeah, we gotta get more achievements. You gotta go on the achievement hunt, and then you can get more hats. Chronic is right. <laughs> hey, Weedle, welcome back today. How are you doing? to have you join us. We are getting prepped for summer, which is tomorrow, so we are crafting seeds up the wazoo so we don't have to buy as many. Even though I will probably buy a lot, it'll be nicer just to save at least a little bit of money if I can, so... Pierre wants sashimi. What do you need? Uh, you just need any piece of fish, Becca, and then you go to your kitchen and you can make sashimi if you know the cooking recipe. I'm doing well, Weedle. Thank you for asking. Enjoying the gray, rainy day outside and hanging out inside playing video games, so doing pretty good. <laughs> peppers. So we got lots of melon seeds, lots of tomato seeds. I didn't get very many red cabbage. I don't have very many of those. So we're just going to have to buy those tomorrow. You think the recipe is available at the saloon for sashimi chronic? I thought Linus gave you the sashimi recipe, but I could be wrong. The snow's gone, Weedle. Awesome. I know you do not like the snow, so that's good. Uh, 
I would take some internet cookies, Becca. You can uh, send me some internet cookies. <laughs> nom 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 nom. <laughs> I should really make some cookies. I've been wanting to have ginger snaps. I should make some more ginger snaps. Those would be good. Those would be tasty. Oops. I didn't mean to eat the corn. No, I don't want to eat another corn. <laughs> gonna have lots of corn. Okay. Linus does give it to you at three hearts. So Linus gives you the sashimi recipe. But Chronic was able to buy it at the saloon. Well, that's interesting, so maybe you can get it either way. Well, thanks, White Owl, for saying it was also available there. Now we know there's two ways to get the sashimi recipe. Good information. Seems like every time the lightning strikes, my seeds are all ready. <laughs> Now I should probably go inside here. I haven't checked in a while. So part of update 1.07 is check this out. The, sh the trees actually shake now, so your fruit will shake off the tree. Shake it off. Shake, shake, shake it off. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's a nice little touch. It's better than I'm just popping off the tree. I think now it feels like you're actually harvesting the tree fruit. It's a pretty good little addition. The game was closing for you whenever the train came through town? That's not good, Chronic. <laughs> I haven't had that happen. Only time I pay attention to the train is in the early game because you can get free coal off of it. When it drives by, things will fall off and I usually get coal off of it, but I haven't really paid attention to the train in some time. Now it passes through and it's like, ugh, unless I'm right next to it, I'm not going to go up there and bother. It's too far away and it's not there for very long. Yeah, Becca, the um, update 1.07 came out yesterday. Oops, hang on just a minute. And um, part of the update is that characters that you cannot max out any further, so like a single villager, you can't get them up to 10 hearts after you've been married. They only go up to 8, so it just means you're maxed out on them and you're not going to get any further, and you can no longer lose hearts with people that you're maxed out on, so that's pretty good. But that was part of update 1.07. If you want to hear the whole list of updates, you can check it out on my YouTube channel over at Red Lace Gaming. Yeah, apple trees don't grow in spring, White Owl. They grow in fall. So in fall, they'll bloom, unless they're inside your greenhouse, and then they'll bloom year-round, like mine do. So uh, it's not you, it's just how the game works. So in fall is when they bloom. <laughs> You chopped your tree down in the first year? Your fruit tree? Oh no, Matt. <laughs> My first year I bought a, a peach tree and the lightning struck it down. I was very upset. <laughs> yeah, it's any of the single people, Becca. Yeah, the dark hearts. Anybody you're not married to. Mother Bridge? What's Mother Bridge, Weedle? Oh, the bridge. <laughs> the bridge to the quarry you're talking about? You don't think that's worth it? I think the quarry has some good stuff over there. It's just, it's not very often that you get good stuff, but I think the quarry is definitely worth unlocking, but you can get there via the minecart or the bridge, so either way. So if you're enjoying the stream today, please be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and watch me live on Twitch, all at Red Lace Gaming. 
can also visit my website, redlacegaming.com, where you can download the Indie Guide to Stardew Valley. And uh, it's currently at about 40 pages in the Alpha Edition that's out right now. But on Monday, I will be releasing the next edition on April 11th that is doubling the size of the Indie Guide to a little over 80 pages. So it's going to be a huge edition. And it might be even bigger than that, depending on how much more I can add in before then. But uh, I'm really excited for you guys to check it out. If you'd like to help me out and support my channels, you can make a donation over at my website or directly from my Twitch channel. Alright, come on, peppers. Go to bed. Oh, good call. Good call, Matt. You think I can make it? <laughs> I'm so bad about the time. I'm going to fall asleep in my hallway a bit. I'm not going to make it. Nope. <laughs> oh man, two days in a row. <laughs> you like the new update, Weedle? Yeah, I do too. I think it adds some good stuff. You just finished reading the guide, Emily. It was really helpful. Well, thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Thanks for checking that out. I appreciate it. Oh, I know, Chronic. I'm so bad. Matt even reminded me. And uh, I just didn't make it. <laughs> Alright, so it is the first day of summer. Summertime. Da -na 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 -na. It's like we have a few days till any birthdays, but today we're going to go buy some seeds and get them in the ground. We made a ton yesterday, so we did at least that. Hey Alex, have a blueberry. Summer is a very energetic time of year, and the body feels it too. I feel solid. Marriage is better. What pixel art should I do? Um, I don't know, Mado. What are you feeling in the mood for? Maybe some good quality stone. Or found some good quality stone. Maybe you can build with it or something. George, 35 stone. Well, thanks, George. All right, I wonder if my honey is actually blue jazz or not. I forgot to harvest my blue jazz flowers last night. Oh, no. <laughs> I was slacking off, man. Bummer, indeed. Okay, well. Oh well. One of those days, I guess. <laughs> Maybe you should do pixel art of, uh... Um... A rabbit. <laughs> Rabbit pixel art. Alright, let's plant some crops. Fertilizer, fertilizer. No fertilizer in there. I like the summertime music, it's so cheery. I need to drop some stuff off so I have places to plant seeds. So I'm going to drop off all this fruit down by my preserve jars. Do I know what the dwarf does, Weedle? Uh, yeah, the dwarf in the mines will uh, unlock a shop for you. He's a merchant that sells different things, so you can buy new things from him. Um, he also sells one of the rare crows, which is handy if you want to collect all the rare crows. Um, but you need to read all the dwarf scrolls by donating them, oops, to um, Gunther. And once you read all of them, then you can get in and actually talk to the dwarf. He's also a giftable NPC as well. You do pixel art in games? Like uh, for video game developers? I don't want to eat the cherry, I want to collect this. Oh, my inventory's full, okay. Stupid inventory. <laughs> Alright, Becca, we will see you when you get back. Yes, you do need all four dwarf scrolls, one of each color. Alright, let's sell the stuff. Sell green beans. I don't know why I'm still holding on to these wood pieces of flooring. Um, get a couple more coal going while we're over here. 
might as well. Yeah, we all the dwarf sells some good stuff, so yeah, you definitely want to get up there and check out his inventory. He also sells some useful things for mining, so uh, it can be handy for mining things as well. No, <laughs> I keep eating my fruit. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, right, you create pixel art uh, using the save files. I gotcha. Well, that's cool, Almeida. That's cool. Why do I sell only items with a star white owl? Um, I usually hang on to the regular items because they have the lower sell, the lowest sell value, and I hang on to them for cooking recipes and making more seeds, and I also use them for gifts. So I hang on to them as kind of my crafting materials, and I just sell the ones that have a higher value. So that's kind of how the way I I keep track of my stuff and how I like to sell and organize and all that. So the lowest value stuff I keep so I can make it into something better or something more useful. It's just personal preference. Okay, time to go buy seeds. Let's do it. We need lots of everything. Lots and lots. I also want to go to Calico Desert and get some seeds from Sandy, so let's go do that first. Since the bus stop is restricted. We're here first anyway. <laughs> do I play other games on Steam besides Stardew Valley? Yes, I do, Weedle. Um, I play Starbound. I play Tales of Grindia, or Secrets of Grindia. Mm -hmm. I play Terraria. I play mm -hmm. Undertale. Um, what else do I play? Mm -hmm. I have Tiny Knight, but I haven't played it yet. I probably will play that soon. Um, I play a lot of Xbox One games as well, and I will be streaming some Xbox One games here soon. Um, I'll probably be streaming Dark Souls 2 here pretty quick, uh, in, in anticipation for Dark Souls 3. And I'll be streaming Dark Souls 3 for sure. But I play a wide variety of games, but right now I've just kind of been into Stardew Valley, so I've played it a lot here lately, but um, I'll probably be switching over here in the next day or so. How much do I think I'd get if I sold all my blueberries, Emily? <laughs> um, I'm not sure. I can't remember how much a blueberry sells for, but whatever it is times a thousand. <laughs> I don't think it'd be too much, but probably a pretty good chunk of money. <laughs> yeah, Starbound and Undertale are awesome, and I don't know if you saw Weedle, Starbound's got its big update coming for 1.0, so it'll be officially out of early access and moving into the full game, which I think is pretty exciting. Starfruit. So we want lots of starfruit. So 48. Let's just go to town. Buy starfruit. Okay. Thank you, Sandy. Oh, I should give her a blueberry while I'm here. I don't have very good friendship with Sandy. I'm never out here. There you go. Have a blueberry. Hello, hello, sweetie. I'm so glad that the bus is back in service. It was starting to get lonely out here. I almost went out of business. Hey, but now you're here to buy a whole bunch of seeds, right, sweetie? <laughs> That's how I envision her talking. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited for Dark Souls 2 Chronic. I wanted to do it today. I was going to start streaming Dark Souls 2 today, but... Last night, time got away from me, and I ended up eating dinner at, like, I don't know, 11. <laughs> and um, I was really tired last night, so I went to bed actually pretty early. I think I went to bed at around 12, which is early for me. So I didn't get a chance to set up my Xbox uh, and get everything set up for streaming, but hoping maybe today I'll do that. So <laughs> hopefully maybe tomorrow we'll be playing Dark Souls, which would be so much fun. <laughs> it's okay to get a moderate amount of sunlight, just don't get burnt. Okay, take care, stay healthy. Thanks, Harvey, for your valuable information, as usual. 
I need a carp if it's not too inconvenient. Leia, 90 gold on delivery, and Leia will be thankful. Alright. Speaking of Leia, how's it going? Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. On Wednesdays, the shop is closed. Not anymore, it's not. Caroline, come on, get with the program. <laughs> Alright, so we have a lot of melon seeds going, but let's buy a ton more. I want giant melons, and I want them badly. So we're going to buy about 80 of these bad boys. <laughs> we're going to go nuts. Hey Capri Sun, how's it going today? Tomato, tomato. I got a lot of tomato seeds already, so I'm just going to buy a few of those. Blueberry season, my favorite. Blueberries for days. Alright, blueberries, peppers. We have 20 pepper seed packets on hand, so we'll just buy some more. Yeah, I totally want giant melons, Weedle. I totally want giant melons. Wheat. Wheat's a fast grower. I'll probably use that to fill in areas if I need to, but I'm not going to buy any right now. Same with radish. Poppy seeds. Spangle seeds we want for our honey. Or poppy we want for our honey, excuse me. So we're going to buy some spangle and some poppy. So poppy for honey. I did see Capri. I'm sorry your game crashed or your screen crashed. <laughs> Welcome. How's your day going? Hopefully it's going well. Hops. Hoppity hop hop hoppity hop hop. I don't really like hops. I don't like trellis crops because they really annoy me because you can't walk through them. So I'm not going to get a whole lot of those. I have plenty of corn. I need more cabbage. Oh, cute cat? That sounds good, Almeida. I like it. Alright, lots of cabbage. That's some dark wallpaper. I kind of like it, though. I'm gonna buy one. Just cuz. Just cuz. <laughs> oh, yeah, you had that storm. I forgot. Yeah, you got your wall and your window fixed. Well, that's good. Glad to hear that everybody was okay and nobody got hurt. It was just your house, but well, oh, what an inconvenience, I bet. Did you end up having to cancel your party, Capri? Thank you for the lift, Mario. Okay, I need my fertilizer. Window and the walls fixed. Welcome back, Taser. Okay, so fertilizer. What can I drop off here? Let's drop off those for now. We'll grab the fertilizer instead. So, let's get the melons in first. I want to make sure I get them planted early. They take a long time, and I want giant melons. So, <laughs> we're going to stick them right here, I think. Get these weeds out of here and this log. And now we can actually do the whole bunch at once because we've put in wood plank walkways under our sprinklers so we no longer have to worry about them being knocked out which is wonderful. The party was still on. No canceling? Well that's good. You made so much food people had to eat. There is a tree growing over there in my crop. I don't think so, tree. I just don't think so. Yes, my inventory is very full. I recognize this. Alright, Capri Sun, sorry you can't stay and hang out. Have a good day. So for giant crops you need to have them grown in a 3x3 three three space and then you have a chance of getting a giant crop. So. This area is where I'm hoping I can get some giant crops going. And giant crops can be melons, pumpkins, and cauliflower. 
So there's one of each season, other than winter, that you can go for. Okay, melons. I think I'm gonna have to water these so they all grow at the same time because some of them already have water down, unfortunately. A blueberry is worth 88 gold, the normal ones. Um, oh, the normal ones are worth 88 gold. I see. Okay, so what's uh, 88 times 900? <laughs> My math is not that good. <laughs> so I could probably make a lot of money off of those. <laughs> I sold all my blueberries. If a 3x3 three three produces a giant crop, then a 4x3 area planted would have two chances, Matt says. I think that's true. I think that is exactly true, Matt. I think you are right on there. So, hopefully we'll get one, right? <laughs> Let's hope. Sorry, Pinecone. I don't need you. <laughs> Alright, let's get water on these bad boys. I guess I should have done a double there. Oops. Oopsie daisy. This light is in a very weird place. I don't know why I put it here. I think I'm gonna have to move it. I think I just stuck it there at the time and I haven't moved it since, but it's now in a weird place. Did I mention I love the Iridium watering can? <laughs> you have one giant pumpkin on your farm, Tater? Or Taser? That's awesome! You want to keep it? Yeah, you have to use an axe, I know, to, um, to harvest it. But be sure to grab it at least before the end of the season. But yeah, I'd keep it around until then. Why not? They look cool. <laughs> 7,900 gold. So that's not very much. Weedle says all my blueberries would sell for 700 or 79, 79,000 gold. But yeah, that doesn't seem like a whole lot, does it? For a thousand crops? I just don't know about that. All right. Melons are in the ground. What's next? Um, should we do cabbage or hot peppers? Corn. We should get corn in the ground, too. Let's do corn. Those are all my ancient fruit seeds right there. Decided to plant a plot outside. We're going to plant corn down here. I don't know why, but I'd rather have it over here. Okay. These are so much more convenient. Like, I know the iridium watering, or iridium sprinklers are nice because you get a big plot, but I feel like having this size plot for some reason I like better just because it works better with the watering and the hoe and all that. You don't really have to worry about it. There's no extra row that you're having to deal with. Corn. Feeling corny! They stay forever even when the season's over, Taser? The pumpkins do? Are you sure? I didn't know that. If they did, that's awesome. Yeah, I thought it'd be way more too, Emily, the blueberries. Yeah, I thought so as well. Hey, Taco! Ahoy! How are you doing? <laughs> How do you get a lot of coal, White Owl? You're running out. Um, you can get coal in these uh, charcoal kilns to my right, the ones that have coal floating above them right now, right here. And you can put 10 wood into those to make a charcoal, or a coal. And a charcoal kiln, 
to make one. It's 20 wood and one gold bar, and it turns 10 pieces of wood into one piece of coal. It used to be 20 pieces, but as of update 1.07, it came out yesterday, now it's only 10, so it's a pretty good way to get coal. Oh, thanks, Taser. Yeah, I like the uh, weathered wood planks as well. I like the look of that one. I bought that from the dwarf, where you get the weathered plank wood. Oh, thanks, Taco. You found me on YouTube. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad you came and hung out here with us and joined us for the live stream. Glad to have you. All right, let's get these flowers in the ground. I wonder if I have any speed grow so I can get honey quicker. Uh, let's check. Actually, I need to get some inventory space. Uh, yeah, we don't like except friends on Steam. You are welcome to add me. That's fine. All giant plants do. Awesome. So Taser says if you grow a giant crop, you can keep it and it'll stay there forever. I'm totally going to do that if I get a giant one. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing that information. That's pretty exciting stuff. Pretty exciting stuff. Welcome back, Becca. Your phone just died, so you went and got a new one, Taco. Oh, I'm sorry your phone died. That's never fun. I really need a new phone myself. Mine uh, does not retain a charge at all at the moment. Speed grow. I have eight speed grow. Well, eight's better than none. I wonder if I can make any more speed grow. I can't remember what it takes for those. Um, spangle. Where are my... Oh, there's my poppy. I just looked right over them. I was like, where are my poppy seeds? I swore I bought some. Okay, speed grow, pine tar, and a clam. Okay, we can make more speed grow, so let's do that. Alright, sounds good, Taser. Yeah, add away. So, pine tar, and a clam. And you get five speed grow for each one, so that's pretty good. All right, that'll be good. Okay, cool, speed grow, yay! While I'm here, let's drop off some stuff. Hot peppers, I was making those into seeds. Don't need the coconuts, though. Your phone is only $10 thanks to a promo. That's crazy cheap. Crazy! <laughs> what a deal! Okay, speed grow, speed grow. And poppies. I'm gonna get poppy honey. Pop the honey. Alright, we need it down here as well. 11.10, I'm actually trying to watch the clock tonight. We're gonna try not to fall asleep three days in a row on the farm. That'd be just embarrassing, I think, so... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Almeida. Let's get rid of these weeds as well. Oh no, my fence. Oh no! Looks like I have some repairs to do. Where's my husband when I need him? Alex, why aren't you doing your job and repairing my fences? Okay, poppies everywhere. 12 a.m., alright. I'll at least get these flowers in. I know that much. Okay, flowers are in. Check. Chickity, check. What's my Steam name? It's, uh, you can find me at Red Lace Gaming on Steam. My, uh, tag's Red Lace. You can also join our group Taser. We have a Steam group, and if you'd like to join, the information for that is right on my Twitch page. So you can just scroll down and grab that, and you can join our Steam group as well to keep track of uh, upcoming events like community play dates and um, indie guides that come out when new editions release, and also just to hang out with other people that play uh, similar games, and you can play with them as well, so it's a good place to meet up with other people. The new guide taco is coming out on Monday. Yes. 
all the barns and all the animals and all that information will be in the next edition of the guide for sure. It's in there ready to go. The new guide's about double the size of the current guide, so yeah, you can grab that on Monday. You can grab the current version right now all over at my website at redlacegaming.com, so feel free to grab that. You love your greenhouse, Yasine? Greenhouse is wonderful. I love the greenhouse as well. It's hard not to love it, right? <laughs> 1220. Okay, we're going to go to bed at a decent hour and be a, a good person for once and not fall asleep out in my front lawn. So, <laughs> here we go! <laughs> CSGO? What's CSGO, Weedle? I'm really terrible with abbreviations. FYI. <laughs> I can't keep them all straight in my head. Your rainbow dash taser? Alright, well I will check that after the stream here. Oh yeah, you went to the dentist yesterday, Becca. Bummer. Sorry your teeth hurt. It sucks. Alright, I made 30,337 gold. Woohoo! Not bad. Okay. Hey Alex, did you repair my fences for me like a good husband? Did you, did you? I got up early and watered some crops for you. I hope it makes your job a little easier. Ugh. Fences, man. Fences. <laughs> Cheetos water bowl. Aw, oh, man. I like to spend as much time as outside as possible. It just feels better out here. So go repair the fences, dude. Go do something useful. <laughs> Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I have not played that, Weedle. I have not played it. What type of game is that? That's true. Yeah, I do use a controller, as Matt said. I'm not a big fan of keyboard and mouse. I sit at a computer all day. I'm a graphic designer, so I like to be comfortable and recline and use a controller <laughs> when I play games, so. Hello friend, the mountain lake has been kind to me lately. I'd like to share my good fortune with you. And he gave me a sashimi. Well, thanks for that. Alright, time to put more coal. Or make more coal. Do your thing, wood. Do your thing. All right, what to plant now? Um, let's let's put our hops right down here. Uh, we're gonna put them right on the bottom row, so we don't have to worry about trying to navigate through them. Seems like a good spot. I usually put my my crops that require a trellis down here. My goodness, they are not in a place though. They're like, no thanks. It's a first person shooting and a controller would not work well. Oh yeah. Probably not then. You joined the Steam group, Tater? Awesome. Taco, you joined too? Cool. Glad to have you guys join. Right, I don't know why that gate was down, because it came back whole, so let's just put it back and see what happens. See if it's fixed itself. <laughs> and it has, that's very peculiar. Looks like a lot of my gates have broken. It's very weird. Very, very weird. It's so strange. This one's broken too. Huh. Oops. Wrong spot. Well, I haven't seen that happen before. Fence gates breaking? That's new. This one's broken also. How very bonkers. Especially since they don't actually disappear. I just get the fence gate right back. That seems strange. They are the magic fences, Helmeta. <laughs> they certainly are. Oh look, my other tree grew. It's ready for a tapper. 
Yay! We'll come back and do that. I want to get these crops in the ground. Crop priority. Get it? <laughs> what a knee slapper. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Just tell me to stop anytime. What happened here? What happened there? Are you not doing your job, Scarecrow? Because I'm pretty sure I planted all the melons in all the land. And now I'm going to have one that's not on the same time as the rest. What the heck, man? Okay, rhubarb is spring. Tomatoes, summer, corn, pepper, cabbage. Random seeds. Ancient fruit. Star fruit. Sunflowers are fall. Okay. You added me, it's Amarzella. Becca, okay. Cool. I will check that out after the stream. Thank you, Chronic, for telling everybody as well. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, let's get these other melons. We're going to grow giant ones down here, too, or hope we can grow giant ones. So we're just going to do them all. Do them all. Why didn't it do that bottom row? That was weird. You know, I need to turn back on. I turned this off yesterday because I was taking screenshots, but my tool hit locations turned off, so that's probably affecting what's going on here. My mistake. You started your PC up just to add me, Taser? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Fertilizer! Fertilizer! Alright. So if you're enjoying the stream today, please be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and follow me here on Twitch, all at Red Lace Gaming. I'm live every day at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. You can also visit my website, redlacegaming.com. And uh, if you'd like to help me out and support my channels, I would greatly appreciate it, and you can do so by making a donation. Uh, you can donate directly through my website, redlacegaming.com, or through the Donate Now button on my Twitch channel. Anything helps, and I would really appreciate it. All donations fund my ability to bring you more gaming videos and uh, make these live streams every day. So thank you to all those that you've already supported, and uh, if you'd like to help me out, I'd really appreciate it. Hey Amelia, how's it going today? Glad you made it back. Oh no, I'm out of melons. Emergency! Emergency! <laughs> Mario, take me to the store! <laughs> I can't have my melons on different timers. Take me to Pierre's! <laughs> Awesome, Taco. Glad you did. Thank you. I appreciate you following. Slime Hunter. I don't want to go slay slimes. I'm planting crops. Oh yes, it's Tuesday. Ladies workout day. All the gals are enjoying their exercise here at Pierre's. Is it possible to subscribe? Uh, on my Twitch channel? No, not right now. I'm not a Twitch partner yet, so I can have you follow, but yeah, I don't have a subscription option at the moment, but you can subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me here on Twitch. I'll be right back.
All right, I am back. Thank you for waiting. Welcome back, Taser. Okay, we got more melons. We are ready to put more melons in the ground. Oh, I'm stuck on a fence. Funny, the sprinklers just watered in strange patches. Thank you, Almeida. Yeah, Manly's hanging out. <laughs> Can hear him, huh? <laughs> Yes, meow. That's my cat, Manly. <laughs> oh, thank you, Taco. I appreciate that. Thank you very much for making a donation. I really appreciate it. That's awesome. It says it'll take three to five days. That's interesting. Usually uh, it doesn't do that. You must have done it a different way, or are you from a different country, I wonder? Okay, all the melons are planted. Well, thank you, Taser. I would really appreciate it. Anything helps. It means a lot that you guys would help support me that way. So thank you. Thank you, thank you. Alright. Blueberry time. We're going to plant this whole upper section as blueberries. It's going to happen. <laughs> Yeah, I'm talking. Can you uh, not hear me, Becca? I'm talking, talking, talking. <laughs> Alright, let's get these going. should probably collect these peppers that I've been just waiting on forever. PayPal said so. Huh, interesting. All right. Well, thank you very much for donating. I really appreciate it, Taco. Thank you, thank you. What controller do I use, Taser? Uh, I use an Xbox 360 controller. And uh, Starbound, or Starbound, <laughs> Stardew Valley is fully controller compatible, so you don't need any special software for that. Um, but for games that don't have a fully controller compatible, I usually play using XPatter software, so I can set up the controls however I want, just program the keys to my controller keys, and um, play with that, a controller that way. Nanio, how's it going today? Haven't seen you in a little bit. How's it going? Alright, let's get water on these blueberries because, you know, I have a blueberry shortage, so we definitely need more blueberries. <laughs> Can't have enough blueberries. Ever. Alright, I think I might make these two little side crops blueberries also. Might as well. And then they'll all be in the same place, more or less. You're gonna try on a PS4 controller? Awesome. Yeah, I find it must much nicer to play with a controller. So much more comfortable in my hands. <laughs> blueberries for life. That's right, Weedle. <laughs> I like the blueberries. 
They're pretty much universally liked by most of the villagers too, so they make pretty good gifts. There's only a few people that don't really care for them, so I just don't give them blueberries, but yeah, I think blueberries are a good one. Alright, let's just store the rest of these blueberries. I'm not going to plant any more. have an odd number left, so we're going to just stick those in there. Um, what else do we want to get in the ground? We've already planted some poppies. Um, corn, I've gotten some going. I should get peppers going. Let's do peppers. We'll do peppers right here. Blue rocks. <laughs> yeah, your hair's blue. I hope you like the color. <laughs> Chronic. You use a 360 controller as well for Stardew Taco? Awesome. Yeah, it is much nicer, huh? Super comfortable. Alright, peppers. 920. Looks like I have a little while longer. I could probably plant another crop or two before it gets too dark. Put some water on them. This lamp is in my way. I didn't know if I got one right here or not. Looks like I did. It's hard to tell. The fence post is like right in the spot where you need to see. I restored the community center on this one. Yes, Taser, I did. On my other character, my evil alter ego, Blue Lace, <laughs> um, I've been joining Joja Mart and uh, I will be doing the Joja Mart Joja Warehouse instead. The controller gets too sticky for you, Almeida. Yeah, some people do not like controllers, but I started out playing games on consoles instead of PCs, so for me it feels just a little more natural. Alright, um, we're going to plant corn all here. Actually, I might have enough peppers. Maybe we should plant peppers here, because then it would be near the other peppers. I'll do that. I'll plant peppers here. You couldn't get used to using a controller, it was too difficult. Yeah, if you start out with something else, it is hard to switch after that, but if you use it first, then you're kind of used to it, so it's not a problem. But yeah, I know how that goes. I've had that problem too, Emily. Hey, Pavo! Well, thanks for stopping by just to say hello. I appreciate it. Wish you could stay, but I understand, so I hope you have a good afternoon. <laughs> when you play with a controller, your hands sweat too much, Amelia. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Can you add me on console as well? Yeah, go right ahead. That would be fine. I'm a Red Lace on Xbox. Alright, 12 a.m. You think I can get these in before it gets too late? I don't know if I can. I might fall asleep in the yard. Might be worth it, though. <laughs> I'm gonna try. We're gonna see. If I fall asleep out here, you know, three times in four days, oh well. <laughs> Plant like the wind! Hello, Hillian! How's it going today? Welcome! Can I show you the center, please? Uh, yeah, I will show you the community center. Uh, maybe tomorrow we will head over there and I can show you the community center. Sure. Your first device for gaming was the Game Boy. Nice, Almeida. Yeah, my first one was the NES. The old school Nintendo playing Mario and Duck Hunt and Donkey Kong. It's awesome. 1.30 and I ran out of peppers. Oh no. And they're not all going to be watered at the same time, so they're not going to grow at the same time. Bummer. Okay, well, let's try to go to sleep. Maybe I can make it. Just had lunch and now you're sleepy, Hillian. <laughs> Too much food. Going into a food coma. <laughs> Alright, I made it. 
I made it to bed at 1.50 a.m. <laughs> Finally. All right, tomorrow's Jazz's birthday, so we need a gift for her. Here, Alex, have a breakfast. Where's Han? There's Han. Hey, Han. Your first one was a PS1 and N64 taser? Awesome. I liked a Mario Kart on N64. I played a lot of that. I really liked it. <laughs> Found some good quality stone. Maybe you can build with it or something. George. George keeps sending me stone. I don't know why. He's in a stony mood. Like I'm neighbors with Fred Flintstone. Jazz loves fairy rose, pink cake, plum pudding, rabbit's foot, and prismatic shard. Thank you, Almeida. So fairy rose, I think we have some of those. You got a hand-me-down Game Boy? That's cool, Becca. Hand-me-downs are good. How do you get quick money, Yasin? Um, I think crops are a great way to get money, um, especially the ones that just take a couple days. So you said it was a fairy rose. We have plenty of fairy roses, so let's give her one of those for Jazz's birthday. Fairy rose for Jazz. Okay. The purple thing I got Iridium from Taco is the Statue of Perfection, and you get that from your evaluation from Grandpa at the beginning of year three. And, um, you need to get four candles lit on his shrine over in the northwest corner of the farm, and then you get that statue in return. And uh, all the details about the statue perfection and Grandpa's evaluation and how it's judged in the point system is all going to be in the next edition of the guide, which comes out on Monday. So you can see all the details there. Alright, let's go find Jazz for her birthday, although maybe I'll throw some peppers in the seed maker here real fast since I didn't finish those crops yesterday. Super bummer. So close. What did I need? I needed five seeds. What a bummer. And I didn't even get a chance to water them so now they're all going to be on three different sets but I'll just wait to harvest them and then they'll all queue back up onto the same timer be a huge deal, just it would have been nice if they were all at the same time. Everyone does love love rabbit's foot, but I don't have a lot of rabbit's foot. I have only been able to buy them from the traveling merchant. My rabbits haven't really been dropping rabbit's foot. Mainly! Alright, peppers are good. Let's toss those in here. I think we got enough peppers for now. Um, so we still need to plant starfruit and cabbage and tomato. We haven't planted any tomato yet either. Planted a few spangles. Alright Mario, to Jazz's house. Three Omni Geodes, Mighty Owl. You just found three Omni Geodes? That's awesome. Oh, well, thank you, Yasin. That's nice of you to say. Oh, there's Jazz. There she is. Happy birthday! And she loves it. Thank you, Almeida, for those tips. Wow, thank you. Aunt Marnie won't let me go out after 6 o'clock. It's not fair. I'm not afraid of the dark anymore. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear that, Jazz. Sorry to hear it. You got a cutscene with Haley, Becca? Nice. Oh, no problem, Chronic. Glad you're back. Yeah, it is strange that they dropped their foot. I agree, the rabbits. Yeah. Do 
I like that I have to buy bouquets for the other singles, Yoda. Uh, well, you don't actually have to buy bouquets for any of the other single villagers after you buy one for your spouse or your intended spouse. Um, and if you get married, if you start giving bouquets to the other single villagers, your, your spouse gets upset and he'll get jealous and actually start questioning your intentions and you can lose hearts with your spouse, so you want to be careful with that. Oh, to get to 10 hearts, you mean? Yeah, um, I think that's okay. Uh, I wish I would have done that. I'm probably going to do that in my second playthrough. I'll probably get all the single villagers to 10 hearts so I can see all the 10 heart cutscenes, and then I'll get married after that, so... Definitely going to be doing that so I can see all the, the nifty little cutscenes and get my extra story. I like hearing all the story. All right, all these crops are planted. Looks like we still have this one down here. So maybe I'll plant cabbage down here. Got lots of cabbage, 94 of them to be precise. <laughs> I suppose I can make a row of hops here as well if I wanted. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll plant a row of hops up top. Uh, fertilizer. What's the purple ball seed? Uh, this one right here, Taser, is the red cabbage seeds. And these, I think, are only available after the start of year two. And they're summer, and they take nine days to mature. And you can buy them at Pierre's, but I think it is a start of year two. I don't think it's available in year one. So if you're still in year one, you probably won't be able to buy them. Yeah, you can at least, you can still give gifts after you get married to other villagers to increase your friendship up to eight hearts with all the singles, and you can still get to ten hearts with any of the non-single villagers. Definitely do that, Taco. You're almost done, Amida? Nice. Still working on your cat pixel art. We'll have to share it with all of us so we can see it when you're finished. are everywhere. Good thing I had so much fertilizer queued up. Planting so many crops today. Start of summer. Lots of work. Lots of work. You're married to Leia Weedle. Nice. Does she change all your wallpaper around? I hear that's a problem with Leia. She's a wallpaper changer. <laughs> Alright, so we got hops going now over here as well. I'm gonna just store the rest of these. I don't want to plant any more hops. And we'll plant cabbage the rest of the year. She doesn't change her wallpaper. Well, that's good. How long have you been married to her? Is it a new marriage or have you been married for a while? only have to water this side. That'll be nice. The rest is already watered. Your best friends that are at 10 hearts is Linus, Krobus, Abigail, Wizard, and George and Evelyn. Nice. Yeah, I don't have Krobus anywhere at all. I think Krobus I have at like... What do I have him at? Two hearts, maybe? <laughs> One heart? Krobus is at the bottom of my list. I never go down to the sewers. <laughs> One heart. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. Okay, there we go. Cabbages in the ground. And uh, someone wanted to see the community center, so I will go over to the community center to show you that. Out of the way, rabbit. 
little more planting to do and then all the crops will be in the ground. I'm going to plant some star fruits since I have 181 star fruit seeds. <laughs> Might as well get some of those going. Speaking of Evelyn, there she is. Have a blueberry. How nice. Thank you, dear. The good mayor put me in charge of the town's public gardens. I've been working on the town flower beds for months, so don't step on them. Okay, Evelyn, I won't step on your flowers. Who's Krobus, Emily? Krobus is in the sewers, and he's a merchant down there that you can shop with, and he sells some interesting things. He sells iridium sprinklers one day a week, and he also sells a star drop, so you definitely want to get down there and chat with him. Your best friends are Alex, Evelyn, and George. Becca, nice. Do I like the music that's in the Wizard's Tower? I haven't noticed the music. Is it different from other music? I don't think I really paid much attention, to be honest. What gifts does the wizard like, Becca? He really likes sol solar essence, so that's a really good one to give to him. I have a really healthy glow. Well, thank you, Harvey. Thank you. Doctor approval. Okay, so here's the community center. Pretty flowers out front today. Oh, you still need the sewer key? Yeah, so you haven't come across them yet, Emily, but you'll get there. So this is the entry, and you can see I got all my hearts on the mantle for completing it. Evelyn loves beet taser. Awesome, I will give her that next time. The crafts room, so there's lots of toys to play with. Wizard loves super cucumber, purple mushroom, solar essence, void essence, rabbit's foot, and prismatic shard. Thank you, Almeida. So this is the pantry. When you complete it, it actually completes the kitchen as well. The kitchen's not usable. You can't actually use the stove in there, so you still need the house upgrade to cook dishes. Fish tank, bulletin board, the vault, where Mayor Lewis, you can find him hanging out in here occasionally. And then of course the boiler room, which Clint comes up here once in a while now, so he'll actually be in here. And Evelyn actually plays in the, uh, the crafts room once in a while. You'll see her in there. So that's the community center and what it looks like when it's finished. And uh, it puts Joe Mart out of business, so Joe Mart is no more. Oh, Mario, you can't go down there, really? We have to take the long way, I guess. The pixel art's finished. Uh, if you have a Twitter, I would love to see it, Almeida. You can just share it with me there. I'd love to take a look. Be sure to tag me, Red Lace Gaming. So there's Joe Mart, all out of business, in shambles, as it should be. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to go to the tower and listen to it, Taser. I'll have to do that. Maybe on Friday when I go down to talk to the traveling merchant, I'll head over to the wizard's tower while I'm down there. You know what happens if you don't let Pierre fight the Joe Mart guy? Um, no, I don't know that, Chuff. I don't. What happens? All right, Almeida, we will see you later. Have a good day. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, I'll check out your pixel art after the stream. All right, we're going to get star fruit going in here. Star fruit everywhere. Nothing happens, Yoda says. So nothing happens if I I don't let Pierre fight the Jojo Mart guy. Yeah, I didn't know there was a fight. Maybe is that a cutscene? I might not have had it yet. I don't know. I don't know what my heart rating is with Pierre, but I don't think it's great. <laughs> you just let him fight him because it knocks him out of the screen? Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that one. I guess Pierre did say he used to be a boxer, though, so that kind of makes sense. I know, the hoe is awesome when you upgrade to Iridium. Everything is so much more wonderful. Hillin. Hillian. So nice. Watering can too. I really like having the upgrade to watering can, although I'm unable to use it like I should be right there. I was having little troubles. <laughs> yeah, it pretty much does my whole plot though, so it's really nice. 
the hoe and the watering can. They gather around one day and say stuff that isn't great. Yoda, oh boy. Yeah, I can see that they kind of have a fight coming on, because Morris and Pierre are nemesis to one another, for sure. And let's face it, Morris kind of deserves it, right? <laughs> How do you get the stuff that the wizard likes, Becca? Um, you can get the solar essence in the mines. It's a common item in the mines that enemies drop. Uh, I can't remember what level they drop solar essence on, but from killing enemies you can get those. Almeida might have some advice since he gave you that whole list. You can't hear me, Becca? I'm not sure why. Um, I think everybody else can hear me okay, so I don't know what's going on there. You farmed 446 iridium ore with max luck. Wow, Taser, that's awesome. That's so much iridium. You're not going to need it for a long time. Hey, goons, welcome. Glad you finally made it. Glad to have you hanging out. Nice to have you join us for the stream today. Yes, the kitty is back. Manly is back. <laughs> likes to say hello. <laughs> All right, let's plant some more. What do I want to plant here? Let's plant some flowers. The flowers are so pretty. Let's plant spangles. I haven't planted any spangles yet, so let's get spangles in the ground. Down here. You still need to finish your community center, Hillian. Oh, you'll get there. You'll get it done. Definitely takes some time, but it's worth it. All the rewards are really good. What year are you in? Uh-oh, 12 a.m. Starting to get sleepy. Hey, Deboki, what's going on? The only thing you've completed is the boiler room taco. She got a little ways to go, it sounds like. <laughs> a little work to do. Lots of items to find. Get some fertilizer down over here. Okay, 1 a.m. Let's water and we need to go to bed. We need to go to bed. Alright, we're gonna make it. We're not gonna fall asleep on the farm today and all the crops are planted, so that's awesome. Alright, Deboki, see you later. Thanks for stopping in to say hello. Have a good time at your meeting. I didn't pass out, Amelia. I made it. I made it. And we accidentally gave Jazz her gift on the wrong day. So we need another... What was it Jazz liked? She liked the um, the fairy roses, so we need to go give her another one. <laughs> yeah, I do have some videos for the Community Center Weedle. Yes, Weedle is correct. If you want to check those out, you can see those over on my YouTube channel at Red Lace Gaming. so be sure to subscribe there for all those videos. Sounds like it might be raining today. Storm is approaching, thunder and lightning expected. Spirits are annoyed today. Living off the land, animal spotlight, pig. In these parts, pigs are trained to sniff out valuable truffles. You've gotta light the porkers outside and be patient. They'll work their magic when they're good and ready. Make oil out of the truffles to maximize your profit. Hey, Han, playing in the kitchen. 
Keep waiting for him to be a toddler. It seems like he's taking a sweet time. 14 days is taking forever. Yeah, the fishing one is a hard one, Taco. Yeah. That one takes some time and some patience. Oh good, Becca can hear again. That's good news. <laughs> and she's going to the spring dance. Dear Red Lace, you're such a good neighbor, I thought I'd send you over animal feed to make your job easier. Keep it up, Marnie. And I got 30 hay. Awesome. Okay, we need to get another fairy rose for Jazz, since I gave it to her a day early. I don't know why I thought her birthday was earlier, but that's okay. We could use a little friendship boost with her anyway. I'm pretty low, so that's fine. All right, um, what was I doing? Oh, we need the flower, that's right. So we'll give her another fairy rose. Good thing I have extras. <laughs> truffles! Let's make some truffle oil, speaking of pigs. Probably go in and check the animals as well. Haven't checked them in a couple days. They're probably feeling grouchy. Probably grouchy animals in my barn. The fishing was the first thing you finished in your bulletin board, Emily? Awesome. You must have fished your little heart out. <laughs> yes, I do, Taser. I have videos of all the fish you need to catch for the fish tank in the community center, and that's over on my YouTube channel. Okay. Wilma's probably upset because I left the gate open. Nope, she seems okay. Everybody's okay. Alright, Wilma, give me some wool. My new cow. My new white cow, Momo. <laughs> Do you have any milk, Momo? Yay! How you doing, Betsy? Okay, I'm not trying to do that. All right. Cortana, what about you? Any milk? Lovely. All the animals are doing good. Uh-oh, your battery's down to 10%, Taser. Not good. Yeah, Chuff, I agree. I think some fish should be swimming around in the fish tank when you get it finished. I wish they would have done that. It'd be a nice little addition to actually have fish swimming. Welcome back, Almeida. How was your dinner? I'm going to just keep that milk here. I'm going to make it into cheese later. I need to grab a couple more of my tappers and put them on my trees. I know there's a couple over there ready to be tapped, so let's do that. Um, grab a little flooring and some fence posts. I might need more fence actually than this. So let's get my hardwood fence gate just in case. Mr. Manley is ready, Chronic. He is hanging out. He's like, is it my turn to co-host yet? <laughs> uh, the temperature Ryan today, Taco? Uh, it's pretty chilly. It's uh, really gray and looks a little rainy, like it could start pouring down any minute. Um, I'm not sure the temperature. It's probably like 60 or so. Not very warm. Which is fine with me. I like the weather just how it is. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, I am 30, Taser. 16 degrees this morning for you, Taco? Wow, that's cold. Burritos. Yeah, it's definitely not that chilly here. <laughs> 16, wow. Chilly indeed. Alright, so we can close off this one. Looks like I need more flooring. Weathered floor. If you're interested in the weathered floor, you can buy these from the dwarf. It's my favorite. I am in Washington. Okay, so we're going to close that off, and we're going to... Oh no, my tree got struck by lightning! Oh no! Not my maple tree. I have to plant another one. Aw, oh, man. Alright, let's give it a space to grow. Oops. 
That's not what I wanted to knock out. Well, that's a big bummer that my maple tree got struck by lightning. Not very happy about that. Bummer. Indeed. Alex was inappropriate? <laughs> what did Alex do? Now I'm curious. <laughs> Alright, maple seed. I need a maple seed. Maple seed, please. I can't believe my luck with the lightning. It seems like the lightning and I do not get along. It's constantly taking out my stuff. Constantly. Alright, let's throw this hay in the silo that we got from Marnie and hauling it around. Alright. Maple seed in the ground. There we go. You live in Austria, Taser? Awesome. That's cool. Becca's in North Carolina. Neat. That's not good, Almeida. If that happened, that's not good at all. Alright, let's throw some fencing here and get this fenced in. I've been meaning to do it, I just haven't got around to it. Where's my fence gate? It's on the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna leave a space there get in and out. I don't want to go all the way up yet because I'm still trying to get this tree to grow, but we can go behind this tree. I'm trying to extend my tree tapper farm just to this edge, so I'm getting close. Looks like I need one piece of cobblestone path. Put down there, and then my fence gate can go there, and there we go. It's 18 degrees right now for you, Taser. Wow. Brr. 36 for Taco. It's cold. Very cold indeed. Alright, I'm going to drop off all these seeds because I have all my seeds planted. All that I have crop space for, so we'll plant these as we need to plant more. For now, we'll just throw them in there along with all the fertilizer. Grab my fruit. get my fruit on. Oops, no, I don't want to eat the orange. I want to make orange jelly. Jelly. Looks like I'm out of fruit. I know I have a ton in my chest, though, so not a problem. <laughs> Not a problem at all. Looks like I need four more. Four more pieces of fruit. One of these days I'll be able to make more preserve jars. Oh no! I didn't want to eat the cherry. I wanted to make jelly with it. <laughs> Come on, game. Don't be like that. It's 45 for you, Chuff. That's pretty uh, neutral. Not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna leave these so they all get on the same schedule so I can harvest everything at the same time. I guess I can grab these because the middle row is gonna be a while till we even have a tree, so we don't worry about getting those on the same schedule for now. We'll just grab them. Let's go drop some of the stuff off in the sale box and then we will go get Jazz her birthday gift. Fence post. What you doing, buddy? Did I give the monkey in the secret forest a cherry? Um, Taser, I think you're talking about Old Master Cannoli, the statue in the secret woods. Uh, no, I, you give him a sweet gem berry. And if you give him a sweet gem berry, he gives you a star drop. So uh, you definitely want to do that, and if you want more information on how to do that or what I'm talking about, you can check that out over on my YouTube channel on my Secret Woods video and how to get a star drop in the Secret Woods. Alright, to Jazz we go. It's time for her birthday. 
Away we go, Mario. I break for maple syrup. So if you're enjoying the stream today, please be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and follow me here on Twitch, all at Red Lace Gaming. I'm live every day at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. If you'd like to help support my channel, you can make a donation through my website, redlacegaming.com, or directly through the Donate Now button, and I'd really appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. You remember my birthday? This is great! You're welcome. Miss Penny is teaching me how to write in cursive. She has such pretty handwriting. So what's my heart rating with jazz now? Um, jazz. Oh, that was pretty good. I had her at like two, so <laughs> now she's at seven hearts. Yay! That's pretty good. You found three of the star drops, Taser? Awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know how many I've gotten, but I've gotten quite a few. I'm not maxed out, though. I'm at 440 energy total, so I have a little ways to go. Go check the beach on, uh, haven't been down there in a while, but if you want any tips on where to get more seashells, the beach is most prominently filled with seashells the day after storms. Ooh, cutscene with Sebastian! Yay! Red lace? Hey, I'm surprised to find you out here in the rain. Look at those dark clouds looming over the horizon. I hope they come this way. Dark, Sebi. It's dark. <laughs> I like this weather because it makes everyone disappear, you know? Being around people makes me feel anxious. I don't feel that way around you, though. We're getting soaked. <laughs> sure are. Oh, look at that. He brought an umbrella. Here, there's room for two. Well, isn't that nice? He brought an umbrella. Thanks, Sebby. What a pal. Right, let's grab my bait so I can refill these things. Oops, I didn't mean to grab the crab pot. My bad. Here we go. We're all ready to go now. The old mariner! Hey there, matey. Glad the amulet worked out for you, miss. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> no kidding, Emily. Guy that wears all black everything has a pink and red umbrella. <laughs> Sebi's awesome. <laughs> Play. All right, where's Mario? He's way up there. Back to the farm, Mario. Looks like we got quite a bit of stuff foraging the beach there. Not bad. Worms. A prehistoric hand axe. I don't need one of those. I want a dinosaur egg. Come on, game. Come on, don't be like that. All I want is a dinosaur egg. All I want for Christmas is a dinosaur egg. Alright, let's sell all the stuff we just got off the beach. Make some money, honey. 
time is it? 5.50? Oh, I missed the blacksmith. I need to go to the blacksmith and to the adventurer's guild, and I don't know why I'm carrying around this wallpaper that I've had in my inventory for like 20 days. It's awfully dark wallpaper, though. I don't think I really want it. I'm changing the wallpaper in the kitchen, though. The wallpaper in the kitchen is not my favorite. It needs to be swapped for something else. Um, do clouds or stripes or leaves? Um... Hmm, I don't really like any of the wallpapers I have right now. Let's just change it to wood for now, then we'll match the... I think this is the same one as the dining room, or the living room, but I'm not sure. No, it's a little different, but... That looks even worse. That really clashes with my floor. Oh no. <laughs> um, let's just go with... Let's go with the pink polka dots. <laughs> Pink polka dots, yay! <laughs> it matches my chairs! <laughs> hey, Happy Gaming, what's going on? Nice to have you joining us. Oh, you just forgot your stuff, Almeida? Well, that's good that you didn't get hacked. I'm glad to hear that. That would have been a bummer. How much can you upgrade your house, Taser? You can upgrade your house twice. So the first upgrade gives you a kitchen and a bedroom. And the second upgrade will give you a bigger bedroom, a bigger kitchen, and an upstairs, which has a whole extra room and a nursery. And uh, you need the third upgrade in order to have kids, and you need the second upgrade in order to get married. Awesome, Almeida. I'm glad you finally figured it out. Good news. All right, let's go inside. We haven't grabbed anything from the greenhouse in a while, and it is booming. Booming in here. So let's uh let's harvest all our ancient fruit. Lots of stuff to get out of here. Strawberries. You're procrastinating homework, Happy. Why not? Why not? You only need 12 more hardwood taser? That's good. You're not too far away. That's like one more trip down to the, the secret woods, because you can get 12 a day there. So you can upgrade your house tomorrow. Should you want to, of course. Awesome, Almeida. I will check it out after the stream. Thank you for sharing it. Look forward to seeing it. and ancient fruit everywhere. Oh, my sweet gem berry is ready. And my inventory is full, so I can't get it. I'll have to come back for that. Yeah, Dujibobo. <laughs> Dujibobo. Uh, yes, I am playing with a controller. I am not playing with a keyboard and mouse. I'm playing with an Xbox 360 controller. It's already 5 o'clock there. I haven't even had lunch yet. That's my next stop. Lunch. <laughs> uh, I like playing games with a controller over a keyboard and mouse just because it's more comfortable for me. Um, I work on a keyboard and a computer all day. I'm a graphic designer, so I like to just sit back and relax, and I find it more comfortable in my hands. So that's why I play with a controller. Dudgy. Just more comfortable, just preference, yeah. <laughs> is the harvesting faster though with the keyboarded mouse? Because that's kind of nice, it is. Get some more wine going. It's funny that Cheeto's water bowl doesn't get filled in the rain. Doesn't it seem like it should? I kind of feel like it should. Alright, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. 
You can just hold the left button to harvest all eight surrounding tiles in one second. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's much faster. Yeah, I don't have that awesome skill. <laughs> I wish. I could try holding the button down with the controller, but I haven't had any luck with that. At least not yet, so... You got new boots back? Nice! What boots did you get? You buy them at Marlin's, or did you end up finding them? Alright. 1020. Alright, looks like it's time for bed. Grab this iridium real fast. We got all our crops planted. We got plenty of seeds for summer. We fixed our sprinklers so they now finally have pathways underneath them. We had all sorts of stuff today. It looks like uh, we are nice and ready for summertime now. All the crops are in the ground waiting to make money for us. Can't wait for that. Yeah, buddy. Got some more of our tree tapper farm going, so that was good as well. Got a new white cow, so now we have a cow that's each color. Pretty good day's work, I would say. Well, thank you, Dougie. I appreciate you saying that. Yours is super functional. Yeah, mine's not the most efficient, but it's pretty. <laughs> I go for pretty over functional. <laughs> I like decorating. Hey, Rex, what's going on? You're going to draw a character from Pokemon, Elmeda? Nice. Oh, hey, Bolt. Oh, it's just your sister's birthday yesterday? That's awesome. Happy birthday to her. I made 37,441 gold yesterday, so that was pretty good. You found leather boots, Becca? Because you got to a level 11 in the mines and you got swarmed by bugs. Or flies. Yeah, that happens. Alright. Well, it was great hanging out with everybody today. And, uh... Please be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and watch me live here on Twitch, all at Red Lace Gaming. I'm live every day at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, so I hope I will see you again tomorrow. And uh, if you haven't already, be sure to download the Indie Guide to Stardew Valley by Red Lace over at my website, redlacegaming.com. First edition is out now, but the next edition will be coming out on April 11th, which will double the size of the guide. It's massive update. It's going to be huge, covering a new wide range of topics, so I hope you check that out when it becomes available on Monday. And if you'd like to help support me and my channel, I would really appreciate it. Your support really helps and helps continue to allow me to bring you these streams every day and more videos for YouTube. So thank you, and it also helps support my plans to make the guide great and make more gaming guides in the future. So thank you to all my supporters. I really appreciate it, and I will stick around and chat for a minute. But otherwise, I will see you guys later. So have a great day.